Welcome to the International Chase x Graph Conference hosted at the University of Bayreuth. Uh, my name is Carsten Miller and I'm happy to announce the fifth edition of our conference. We started in the year 2020 with the first conference and in the last year a lot of new things and features were implemented in Chase x Graph. We have uh, implicit function plotting. We have 3D uh, objects integrated into JSX graph. And in the next three days, we want to talk about these new features. Uh, we have many participants who will present their projects. And of course, we also have workshops uh, organized for you. And in this year, we have something from the first conference, namely a beginner's workshop. And this beginner's workshop, it is really for beginners. We start with, with an empty HTML page and an empty board, and then we will create our first uh, Chase X graph constructions. Uh, so this is for those who aren't familiar with Chase X graph, but we have also interesting workshops for the advanced users and the pros. Uh, Alfred organized his famous advanced uh, workshop with JSX Graph. And uh, we will have interesting talks. And uh, to show you the program, I will share my screen. Just a moment, moment please. So now you can see the program for the next three days. Today, we will start with this beginner's workshops. Then we will have two talks and uh, we also have the possibility to discuss after each talk. So if you have questions, please ask after a talk. We also activated the chat. So uh, during the talk, you can post your questions and we can answer them afterwards. On the second day, we will start with talks again, and we will end with Alfred's advanced workshop, part one. And if you have ideas, questions for Alfred, some interesting topics, for example, uh, just ask, uh, Alfred will give a second part of his workshop on Thursday. And there he can implement your topics and you will learn interesting, interesting features of JSX graph. And the third day, Thursday, is dedicated to 3D in JSX Graph. And we will see amazing features how we can use JSX Graph in 3D. Uh, as in the last years, we organized a Moodle. And for every uh, talk, we have a Moodle course. And there we integrated a forum. And we can have discussion after each talk in this forum as well. Uh, Alfred sent the login for the Moodle per, via email in the last days. Uh, we have something new uh, from the last conferences as well. Last year, we started a publication series from the Center of Mobile Learning with Digital Technology uh, called CMM, CMLDT Publications. And this is a series for technical reports on Chase X Graph and Sketchometry, our, our other project, and uh, also for best practice uh, reports or short papers and papers. And uh, within this series, we uh, uh, have the book of abstracts of the first four conferences. So here you have the possibility to download the abstracts from the first, second, third, and fourth conference. And uh, next month, we will release the uh, book of abstract for this conference. So it is documented within these publications. And one announcement before this conference for the next conference, but the next conference uh, won't be the sixth conference uh, we will uh, have next year, but in February we have another, uh, another conference format called 24 Hours of JSX Graph. And this is a conference or a meeting here in Bayreuth. We will meet in person. 
and uh, we will discuss interesting JSX graph problems. There will be no talks, maybe short presentations about five or 10 minutes, and then we will work together. So this is uh, more or less uh, like a workshop and who is interested in with interesting projects can come to Bayreuth. And uh, the, this meeting, 24 hours of Chase X Graph, will take uh, place in Bayreuth from the 26th uh, to the 27th uh, of February next year. Uh, the registration is already open and uh, you will find the link to this meeting at this conference meeting, uh, at this conference uh, website as well. Uh, later, we will share some information about uh, accommodation and traveling. Uh, the conference is free of charge and uh, we will meet in the first day. In the evening, we will have dinner and uh, we will end in the second day. So this is an announcement for our in-person meeting next year. But now let's come back to our conference. And uh, yeah, I, I think I have everything mentioned which is, uh, which is important for organizing the conference. And now I will hand over to Alfred Wassermann who will do the official, uh, official opening of the conference. Alfred, please go ahead. Okay, welcome everybody also from, from my side. So I'm Alfred Wassermann, I'm, I'm the lead developer of JSX Graph and uh, I'm sitting three offices uh, next to Carsten's office, so we are quite close. Yeah, uh, what, uh, let, just let me say a few words about uh, the last year. Uh, well, first, of course, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to the many interesting talks and, and, uh, and many participants and and uh, especially see you so many participants again. We, uh, many of, of you are here every year, so it's, it's we are nearly a family now. Um, <clears throat> yesterday and today I had a look at the numbers. So uh, what's happening with JSX Graph? So for example, there's this, um, this uh, CDN, this, um, J JS deliver, which from which you can use to to deliver JSX graph, and uh, th two years ago we started with five hundred fifty thousand downloads per week, per month, per month. Last year we had we had one million, and now we uh, we have five point eight million or five point nine million downloads a month, which is quite quite. Um, uh, quite good and yeah mostly it's it's one it seems to be one page I have no idea who is it but uh, it's mostly one page uh, which is using J or one site which is using JSX uh, job such that uh, the numbers went up so so extremely That's and so um, for NPM oh, 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 okay for NPM uh, where you can download uh, the JSX Graph development packet uh, package we went we are up now to seven seven thousand downloads a week. Google Groups are also slightly increasing, one one hundred with one hundred new discussion threads. And uh, if you look at the the threads are not only um, the number of threads is not such important, but uh, the threads are now the discussion threads are now uh, much populated and and quite a few people help other people what's going on <clears throat> and uh yeah github we have now 713 issues and i keep the open i try desperately to keep the open issues up uh, below 100 and even better we had meanwhile more than 200 pull requests which is a sign that we the 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 developer family is growing slightly or it's growing slowly but uh, but uh, it's ever increasing um from uh, regarding releases at the last year's conference we released 
more or less immediately released uh, released 1.61 and last week i released 1.10 the 1.10 release so uh, as carsten already mentioned uh quite a uh, quite a lot of things happened in this year and um i must or we must thank you because of your pull requests the bug reports suggestions very helpful and help uh, during the last year. Uh, especially the, the big progress in 3D has done by, by Aaron, who will give a workshop on the last day. Many thanks to him. Okay. Uh, then our database is uh, filling. M meanwhile, we, we have some, some examples regarding e-assessment, which might be interesting for most of you. And uh, as Carsten said, uh, 3D has been improved. Now we, well, this is a this was a great great relief. So after decades of of requests, uh, we now we have implicit implicit curve plotting. Then we overhauled the axis and grid elements. I will say something in the workshop about it. Statistics is. Uh, had made some quite some progress and we have themes but more on this on the workshop okay um yeah <clears throat> yeah this is the program uh carsten said already everything and um uh, one word about the moodle one final word about the moodle so if you don't have access please write in the chat or write us a private email um, we try to resolve this problem. And if you are, uh, um, if you have attended the last year's conference, then you you are already a participant in the Moodle. And uh, if you don't remember the the login name, it's the email address in uh, the small letters. Okay, and in the conference Moodle, uh, we set up discussion forum for each talk and there you can um, you can upload maybe I uh, I show it to you uh, by do you see my full screen yeah yeah okay though so, uh, So uh, in the Moodle, there's this discussion forum and you should be able to uh, to add to the discussion something. And in the discussion, you can um, uh, you can you can reply, of course, or you can set up a new um, a new topic and if you go to advanced, it's a little bit hidden, then you can upload files to up to nine files. So um, I hope this is, uh, I hope uh, uh, we can uh, we can make it use of it. And I would suggest that if you have an immediate question, please post it in the, in the chat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it. So many thanks uh, uh, at last to Andreas Walter. He's managing all the Zoom, uh, the Zoom meeting and then all the, the little secrets of Zoom. And yeah, I wish you a nice and successful conference.